Uh, this is going to be quick in reference to the Affordable Care Act, which uh, won a decisive uh, victory in the Supreme Court today, six to three, a two to one uh, <laughs> knockout, so to speak. And I want to just bring up a couple quick things. Uh, and I'm going to relate them to recovery in to recovery circles. And uh, in terms of uh, an alcoholic, let's just say, uh, for an alcoholic, um, when you're talking about a drink, one is too many and a thousand's not enough. And I think that could be said for the Republicans in terms of wanting to repeal Obamacare. One is too many, you know, and 50 or 60, what they have, <laughs> you know, is not enough. Uh, I think they'll continue to try to do that. Uh, but again, uh, it just emphasizes that you keep doing the same thing over again, expecting different results. It ain't going to happen. It will not happen. Uh, the second thing in recovery circles uh, is, uh, uh, let's just say it's a guy and he goes into the rehab. He's sitting down with his first counselor at the rehab, moaning about his pitiful situation uh, uh, being, let's say, a drunk. And uh, the guy just says, hey, listen, let's get something straight now that you're here. The war's over. You lost. And I think that could be said for the Republicans also. Uh, you know, they're still in that state of denial and they need to get out of that state of denial, but they need to accept that they lost. Now, here's the thing. In recovery circles, that counselor could then say, yes, you lost, but in admitting defeat, you've won. And the Republicans could say, or I could say the Republicans, in admitting defeat, the American people will win because this is something that is good for all of the American people. Now, one of the things I haven't heard a peep about today, I haven't heard anything about it today. Uh, there was one mention of it yesterday, and that was the mention that um, the uh, insurance companies were concerned and have been concerned for some time if the decision by the Supreme Court would go against Obamacare. And today, uh, Obamacare, uh, <laughs> let's just say, got reenacted, <laughs> reapproved. And nothing really from the insurance companies because it is what they wanted. And let's get something straight about this. The insurance companies are still making money. That's why they did it. That's why they signed up for it. So I don't know what it is going to take for the Republicans to learn that it is over. It is fait complete, kaput. What else did the Madeline Kahn say in, uh, in Blazing Saddles? Kaput. You know... Uh, I'm tired. I am tired of this. It's time to let it go. Remember, let go, let God. Let, uh, if it's going to fall under its own weight, as the Republicans say, let that happen. Uh, no sense in going after it anymore. Uh, live and let live and let it live because it is only there to hurt, excuse me, to help. <laughs> Faux pas, uh, only there to help the American people. And let's hope that it continues to help the American people as we strive for more or, let, you know, so that uh, <clears throat> strive to have more insured. Because even with uh, uh, the millions of people who are now on Obamacare or the additional millions who have gotten additional coverage through Medicaid, there are still approximately 30 million Americans who have no insurance whatsoever. And remember, this wouldn't happen in the next, what was it, 30, 40 other, other uh, uh, ec uh, economies that are less than ours in the next 30 or 40. They wouldn't have that problem. They would be insured. And let's just hope that we are continuing on that path so that all Americans at a certain point in time in the future will have health coverage. And uh, that will be a blessed day.